Okay, so here we are, we've made it to the ramps. Time to prep the boat to get it in the water. The Cruisecraft 720 that we're using today has three drain plugs and two tie down points. Now, I like to use my tie downs and my drain plugs always together at the same time. So when I get to the ramp, my tie downs come off, my drain plugs go in. And then when it's time to go home, the tie downs go back on and the drain plugs come out to circulate any water out of the hull that can come out. So it's very important that I find that the same person will do these and typically when you go boating you'll go boating with the same sort of people you will all sort of have your own jobs as such and it's important to know what you need to do to get the boat prepped to go in the water but the key elements are there's a hole at the back of the boat let's fill it so there's three drain plugs first one goes into the center of the boat here now depending on your boat and how it's actually geared up Sometimes the drain plugs will be directly to the bilge of the boat here. So that's where our bilge pumps in and any skin fittings are. So it's very important to have this one in. In this particular boat, we're lucky enough to have underfloor kill tanks that we can plumb water in and out of. And this is the outlet for them here. So it's still crucial to make sure that if there's a drain plug allocation at the back of the boat, that we fill that area. So I've got all three drain plugs in now. The next thing I'm gonna do is just like we just spoke about, when the drain plugs go in, the tie downs come off. Another great initiative with these new style of tie downs, there is quite a few on the market. Typically there'll be two uh, clips that you'll have to connect to. This one here is actually fixed to the trailer and all I need to do is release it. So it's very, very simple. I don't have to worry about storing my tie downs or losing them. It's a great initiative from what they've done there. So there's one of those either side, which we'll do. Once my drain plugs are in and my tie downs are off, I just like to visually have a look around. My engine's still in its up position. Depending on the engine that you have, you'll typically have a power trim and tilt button at the back here. We wanna keep the clearance high while we go back into the water. And typically, depending on your engine and how it's stored for transport, there might be a, a rubber block or a trim block or some sort of mechanism to keep the boat up. And we need to remove that prior to actually putting the boat in the water. The last thing we have at the back of this particular boat, which is quite unique and cruise craft are quite unique for it, is we actually have these drain plugs as per se at the back here, which are a direct access to the floor height. So when we're washing the boat out at the end of the day, we can take these, these drain plugs out and when we hose the boat, the majority of the water and whatever's on the floor will come out of these big fittings here rather than through the bilge. So just keep an eye out if you're lucky enough to own a cruise craft and you've got these fittings, just to make sure that these are in. They're just as important as the plastic drain plugs on the bottom. All right, so now we're ready to do the fun bit. We're gonna put the boat in the water. We're all safe and set at the back of the boat and uh, we'll jump in the car and give you any tips we can on reversing the trailer. 